Hey there folks, it's Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. Thanks for tuning in to this video. We're going to be dealing specifically with parallel 15K systems. That's right folks, we're going to talk all about laying down that 4 odd and that 12 by 12 wire way and hooking up the big stuff. As always, this video is considered for educational purposes only and is not for any kind of replacement for an electrician. If you're not qualified, please do not attempt to do one of these installs. And if this video helps you, please like, subscribe, and if you haven't purchased your material yet, contact me. I can get you a, a full design and help you get your material, and I'll even talk you through your install if you buy from me. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So we got to talk power distribution blocks for a second. You hear us all the time talking about the PDBs in the videos, but you hear the PDB talk, but you don't ever see the PDB. So this is what it looks like before I mount it in the wire way. I like to mount these things in the wire way. I either use a, uh, if there's like plywood behind it, I'll use a wood screw and I'll drill through the wire way and then screw into the wood or I'll use something with a nut and bolt if I can't get a, into some meat behind the wire way. But you want to mount this thing in the wire way and and this is where you're going to distribute the grid power when it comes into the wireway. Like you could, you could bring grid in right here. You could feed two solar 15 Ks out of this one and this one. And then maybe this one's feeding your transfer switch. You do that with L1, neutral, L2, and then obviously ground's going to go to a little ground bar. Your grounds, you don't have to take as, uh, you don't have to get so overkill with it. A lot of people are just combining solar arcs with these things we call these polaris lugs uh, but that's kind of like calling kleenex tissue paper this is a i've heard them called insulated connectors insulated terminal blocks but it's just a big hunk of aluminum this is only good for you know splicing two pieces of wire together so you would obviously you'd strip it out but you you could join this big wire because when you join this big wire you can't use wire nut guys you got to use something else so you could use one of these Polaris lug type deals. There's a bunch of different configurations for, for these. You got one like that. That's a Burndy multi-tap. I've heard them called multi-tap connectors. That's one by F4P. I keep all these in my truck anytime I buy them or I take them off a job or something. These are great, but they end up floating inside the wireway, just kind of like hanging on the wires. You can't really mount them. And then sometimes, you know, on I've seen it with smaller wires where I've seen these one of the wires was loose and they burned up and i've also seen situations where power company guys will open up like a box and start cranking them down when i say cranking them down i mean they're you know that's where you tighten this set screw up but he'll be like that one was loose that one was loose too that one was loose so i'm just like uh eh. you know i think because it can move and the wire can move and if the wire is expanding and contracting the, the less movement i have inside my wire way the better i'm off so I don't like to use these to combine inputs and outputs of solar arcs, especially when I'm using big wire. When we were doing the 12Ks, these a, a PDB like this was more than enough because you can you can fit your number six right in there. This is number six wire, and then you could uh, combine all your inputs or your outputs, and that'll go up to a I think that would go up to a three odd on that one. Can't remember what the size was there. Maybe not. Maybe that was only a two odd. That might have been for two solar arcs and maybe a piece of 2246 aluminum or something. But these are the big boys. These are the, this is a large frame, two in, two out, three pole PDB. And this is what I'm using on my 15Ks if I'm doing a dual 15K system. If you're doing a dual 15K system and you're bringing in, bringing 200 amps from each 200 amp disconnect and passing it through each inverter and then bringing it together on your output side, this is a great thing to use. You could you can use this guy right here. Uh, if you're doing uh, a single 200 amp service, but then you're bringing the 200 amp service in right here, you're feeding uh, Solar One and Solar Two, and then you're feeding your bypass right there. You can do all that on one PDB. This thing's rated for like, oh, I think it's rated for like 700 amps or something. I don't know. It's got a it's a crazy 620 amps is what it's ready for. And like, you're like, I know what you guys are going to say, Johnny, you taped up the who's making it. Why would you do that to us? I did that because I want to talk to you. If you're watching this video and you're this deep into the design of your solar system, I want to sell you that solar. I want to help you. I want to consult with you. I want to show you how to do this job. But if you email me or contact me, I'll give you this part number. But I think you're going to find out 
at the end of the day, having somebody on your side that you can call anytime when you have questions for your solar install, it's a beautiful thing. So they, these are just a couple of different PDBs. Wanted to make a quick video for you guys showing you the PDBs. So make sure you get your PDB covers. All these come with covers. You want to order the right cover for the right PDB and it just snaps right in. Let's see if I can snap it in here. And I always put them on when I'm done with the install. Hmm. There we go. So make sure you order your cover for your PDB. Each, each one needs a cover. So if you're considering doing a Solark install and you need help, you need help, you want a DIY one, maybe your brother-in-law's an electrician, or you wired your house and you want to DIY install one of these 15Ks or these 12K Solarks, but you just need a little bit of hand-holding, that's what I'm here for. Contact me through this channel. My information is at the beginning and the end of the video. I do system sales. I, sell, I design your system for you help you get your material, and then I talk you through your install. I've got a lot of satisfied DIY customers out there. This is Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar, signing out.